Oh my gosh. Let's say I had, and we've done this before. This part, I'm going to use it to build on it. Let's say I asked you to solve that for x. Tell me what you would do. Five. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't put five. Five times five. Five, 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 five. What cancels out that exponent? That x two. A square root. A square root. Jalen. <laughs> guys, I need you up here. A square root cancels out a square. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's how we get rid of it in order to get x by itself. Now, thinking back to yesterday, a square root is the same thing as what if I write it as an exponent? Huh? What fraction? In other words, if I have this, and I don't want to take the square root. What else can I do to get rid of the 2 here? X2. I mean, no. Uh, close. You're close. We got to put um, five. Who said it? Good job, Kendra. I've got to do the reciprocal of that 2, which is the same thing as a square root. So look what happens. If I raise it, I'm showing you. If I do this instead of 2 to 1 half, but if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. What is two times a half? One. one. Jalen, put that up. I was looking at this. Place. And it don't matter. And 25 to the one half is five. Because it is a square root. Don't have any buttons you press? Yeah. Yeah, we don't put Okay. Because I'm fixing, to show, I'm fixing to show you why. I want you to see that it's the same thing, and to get rid of it, I can flip it, okay? Yes. So why did we do all that? If we got to I'm fixing, I'm fixing yeah. to show you. I'm fixing to show you. Y'all stay with me. All right, that's why I'm with Here's why, Brady and Bryce, inquiring minds. What if this was not x squared, but x to the 2 thirds equals 25? Well, then I guess you would have to do 2 thirds and... You would have to flip it, guys, okay, and do 3 over 2. But if I do it to one side, I also have to do it to the other. So the point that I'm getting to here is because when you flip it, when you multiply reciprocals, they cancel out. So you have to flip it. Yes. Well, because now we're talking about not just x squared, but x two thirds. Okay, so here, Andrew, put that up, to get rid of a fraction exponent, <coughs> we flip. Because we're solving for x, we're trying to find out what does x equal. And we're fixing to expand it out. We're fixing to expand it out. Right now, I want to talk about opposite operations. I'm talking about how we get rid of it right now. So here, not really formula. It's just another way to get x by itself. Okay. So here, I don't know what x to the. I mean, what 25 to the three halves is. I could probably change the form and figure it out. But I could also take my calculator. Shh, 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 and do 25 raised to the 3 over 2. So it's a heavy, it's calculus, heavy calculator. Heavy calculator, yeah. Well, you don't do what? I did this because I raised it to the 3 halves. I flipped it over, and I made it an exponent. Yeah. To cancel it, if I do it to this side, I have to do it to this side. Yeah. And I just put this in the calculator. That's what you were doing yesterday. I never used So that's the only step my third one. Well, the equations will get longer. I don't know how to put that in a calculator. Look. <laughs> 25 raised to the, and then in parentheses, 3 divided by 2. So, y'all keep asking, is that all, is that all, is that all? Because there's never, 
It's not all. It's that's the concept of getting rid of it. The others are things we've done before, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say that I have two x to the three fourths minus five equals eleven. And I have to solve that for x. Now remember, here's the deal. When we solve, now you can put that away. When we solve, we sad map every time. Sad map means solve. We're going backwards order of operations. So to get x by itself, well, exponents are last. Why did it, why does it flip it now? Add five. Huh? Well, the number is last. That's whenever you're simplifying. So you're saying you do subtracting first? So any addition, subtraction, add a first. So you, what do you do first? You add five. You add five. Well, then that means you got to make two ways negative. No. Why not? you got to change everything. We're not, we're solving right now. We're getting X by itself. I'm going to divide by 2 now. And I get X to the 3. Now here's the only new part. I have to get rid of this exponent. So I need to flip it. Yes. So now on your calculator, you will do 8 raised to the 4 divided by 3, which should be, I think, 16. <coughs> yes. That's all we're doing today. A negative exponent one? We won't have negative exponents yet. At all. Not solving. They're on the sheet, yeah, but I'm going to change them. That's what, the yeah, story, yeah, that's what we were just talking about. Shh, 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 Inside the parentheses is absolutely last. Jalen, right? Pay attention. But you're at your Right. So anything inside parentheses is last. So don't worry about that right now. Okay, so we're on to... <laughs> divide by four. Okay. This is gone because my parentheses is dead last. That's going to be the last thing that I do is parentheses. All right? So this is 512? Yeah. Now I've got x plus 23 to the 3 over 2. So. Yes. All right, so now the four cancels out on the right. So we, we, do, we flip the exponent now. Now's the exponent because I'm making my way through this these steps, remembering that anything inside parentheses is last. So there is no more multiplication division. So now I'm on the exponents. So I flip this over, and so this becomes now not three halves, but two thirds. That's sixty. Guys, I'm fighting for some of your attention, and you need to pay attention up here, okay? That's part of the problem right now. When I'm teaching, you need to be focused here. And then you cancel that. Okay, so these cancel, absolutely. So now I have 512 to the 2 thirds, so that's a calculator. 64? Easy? Yeah. Now get x by itself. Okay, so now you just subtract. It's the same process of solving equations. It's just that the only difference is my exponents are not whole numbers anymore or just squares. That They're fractions. Do the hardest one that we're going to have. Uh, that's what I tried to find. That, well, okay, here's one. That's the I need the rest of that. Yeah. Yeah. Do the yeah. hardest problem we're going to see in the paper. Um, <laughs> this one's tough now. You ready? Oh, 
<laughs> you have a calculator then. That's twelve K. It's just a different variable. You do nine minus two. All right. So yes, the first thing I do is I'm gonna move the nine. Okay. I'm gonna find a value for this because this looks more intimidating than so what it actually I is. That. You just divide it, right? Yes. So eleven fifty one. Divided by, what was it, 9, 128. Now, from that number, y'all said subtract, so I'm going to subtract 9. So we can just round the 8.9 to 9? Oh, so we can round? No, leave it, leave it um, at least round to two places so you don't get a zero there. So I'm going to round to negative 0.01. Subtract the 9 because it's being um, added to that. Right, Bryce? Yeah, and now you're going to um, do it again. Now do what? Uh, divide. divide by that negative 2. Your voice is so deep. I hear you every time you even whisper. So this, what's negative 0.01 divided by negative 2? Um, the, yeah, there you go. So the key here, now do your exponent. So if you're running, if you're, you're going through your calculator still, you can do all this divided by <coughs> negative 2. And then this is the number that I'm going to raise the flip to. So what is that? What's 0.003 to the 3 fourths? 0.15. Now it's a two-step linear equation. No, that's not. It's not. It's zero oh. So it's 0.015? Is this? Yeah. Can I cool you right? We can run that. It's a four, not four. Yeah. Oh, thank you. All right, so now what do I do? Subtract the four. Yeah. What do you get? Negative three point nine. And what do you do? What do you get? Somebody with a calculator. 133? 0.33. So that was a whole lot of work. But it's nothing we haven't done before.